morning guys welcome to today's video we got Trixie here in her nice cleaned out happy house her oh goodness that thing keeps on falling down and she up? loves it yeah I'll put it back up but so we cleaned out her out her tank today she's all fresh and clean and ready for Christmas there's some crickets right there she be eating like a queen Falling off. Like Gabby would like to see her falling off. There's a falling oh, off video. Gorgeous. It was gorgeous. There's a falling off falling. video coming up very, very soon. Her second fall off, Tina. I her need to clean up this area. He didn't kill me. Yeah, her horse didn't kill me. He don't just give stopped. I fell okay. and he stopped. Okay, don't give away any more of the video. Don't give away. That will be coming and up then soon. I, I did a Brandon move. Roll and run. Roll and run. <laughs> it is true. And that is what Brandon does. When Brandon falls off a horse, Wait a minute. When Brandon falls off a horse, he lands and then he runs. When Fiona, when somebody falls off a horse with Fiona, she walks calmly to the horse. When somebody falls off a horse with Brandon, he runs to no, the kid. No, that's when Brandon. Brandon falls off of a horse. He rolls. He lands and rolls on a yeah. horse. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's I afraid of getting hurt. Yeah, and he does. Everybody says he does do that. Last time I fell off a horse, the horse fell with me. Yeah, and then Brandon said, roll, keep rolling, roll, roll, roll. I didn't know what Brandon's so funny. Like, all I saw was the dirt and my face going over <laughs> <laughs> That's all you did. Yeah, that was a crazy fall. Not we didn't me. show it. Not me. I saw my whole horse. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want to show falls on I other people's horses. At the same time. Yeah, he was a good horse. My instinct is to get up after the fall so the horse doesn't run through you. Yeah, that, that is a good... I just don't ever want to fall. Right, Ruby? Yes, I know. You're Ruby. I fell twice. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to see it. Where did you see it? I don't know. It's I'm gonna edit it. We have a lot of videos coming up. Stay tuned guys. We have videos coming up like crazy. Oh, Ruby, get out of here. You're you're pulling the computers down. Come on, go. Go. We have videos coming up, lots of fun videos, but we also have all of our regular videos, so the next couple of weeks is probably going to be just, or at least the next week and a half or so is going to be insane with videos, but we shot some really, really fun videos yesterday with our friends. So I showed you guys the other day, these are all the presents that I bought for the grandkids. I know you guys won't get to see them on Christmas. We do our presents with the grandkids earlier. Like I told you guys the other day, I'm trying to do with my grandkids stick to something they want, something they need, something to wear, and something to read. So, so Brooklyn wanted this Harry Potter Lego. Um, I bought her this as something she needs, uh, something to wear, and instead of something to read, I did something different with her and, and Jacob this year. I bought them this Lego table. It's actually huge and super cool. And so instead of a book each, they're, own, they're getting this to split. Uh, for Jacob, what he wanted was this car wash, Hot Wheels car wash thing. What I decided he needed was a VTech Kid Zoom creator cam. And the reason is because he thinks he's a vlogger. And so I got him that, uh, something to wear is I got him a champion um, outfit as well, pants and a shirt. And then for their fourth thing, instead of a book, I got them the Lego table. Baby Aria, I got her, she's really into light up things and unicorns. Uh-oh. Got her this glow load, I got her this unicorn that I think she'll love. Got her an outfit. Um, for her book, I got her twinkle. Oh my gosh, shut up already. So, for her book, I got her twinkle, twinkle little star, and you push the button, and it does the whole thing, and it's uh, interactive, and it's got like a touch, touchy feely book and stuff. It's got these little stars down here. I got it because Jack always sings twinkle, twinkle little star to her. I also bought Jack a kitchen for his birthday last year, so I bought Aria some. Um, Melissa and Doug food to go with their kitchen because they've really been playing with their kitchen a lot lately. So she'll be making pizza this year. I want so uh, for baby Jack, I got him an outfit as well. I'll show it to you. I like Gabby picking. It's this super cute vest with these pants and a t-shirt, like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it. Super cute. Uh, Aria's outfit is a little bit dressy too. The 
bigger kids got sporty outfits. I bought Jack this puzzle. It's a Melissa and Doug, and it's to put word letters together to make words, and it matches the picture. And I know that he'll like this because he's really into this stuff, and he's genius. He's also really into guns, and this year I bought him the laser thing that on Christmas Eve, Gabby will have this out so fast and all the little kids will be running around playing with it. I'm pretty sure he'll like it. Oh, for Jack's book, I bought him the search and find vehicles. Basically, you just uh, have to like, so you see the horse trailer there and he has to find the horse trailer and then you can find the picture over here and it makes sounds. So that's it, that's what I bought my grandkids so far this year. It's really been helping having the boys at the lesson barn because typically we would have to go ride our boys and then go have lessons at the lesson barn. So having them at the lesson barn kills two birds with one stone. Today we're going early though. For Christmas this year, we're giving the boys massages. <laughs> I know they get them all the time anyway, but they're all getting a massage right now in December. Uh, they'll have a little bit less riding time in December, time to relax, time to just be a horse. Hopefully it'll get harder so that they're not standing in mud because that has just been such a bad season for us here in Ontario. So much rain lately and I know BC is the same. So I can't complain because they have way more water than us. So uh, today they're having their massages which means that we're going to be ending up spending so much time at the lesson bar and we have to go really early before lessons and stay while they get their massages and then do lessons. So that's where we're headed now. Alright you guys get your horse and I'll meet you back here. I'll meet you here. I'll meet you back. If I was smart, I would have just let the kids bring in all the horses because Gabby bring in her own horses because he's looking at me. Come on, Storm. Your blankets, brand new blanket is wrecked, all wet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's talking to you. Come on. Come on, Stormy Knight. You walk to me. Come on, you need a good brush. Come on. I did it. I caught him. He looks so sleepy. It's okay. You're getting a massage. Oh, man. I feel proud. The girls got their horses, too. <laughs> Come on, Storm, have a few minutes of grass because when you give your life to teach little children how to ride, you deserve a little bit of grass, huh? It's quiet in here. That's how you can tell people are cleaning their horses. I'm gonna do a little horse clean competition, see who cleaned their horse the best, because it was brutal. This is my guy, Stormy Knight. Can't see very good, but we'll look. So here is his face. Here he is, you guys. See that mud pile right there? I cleaned it, it's just wet still. Clean his neck and his head all the way down. Clean, clean. I brushed his mane, it's just looking gray. I brushed his tail, looking gray. Cleaned his feet, you can't tell he's got four white feet or three white feet, but I cleaned everything the best I could. Impromptu clean check. Coming to clean to see if he, he thinks he's a bug. Okay, listen, did you brush his hair? Now he's mad at me. Okay, look, look at his legs. All right, his feet are clean. I'm actually gonna say that you did not too bad of a job for having a light colored horse. I didn't even I do still have to brush Chino's feet. So, I still have to look at those feet. Hey, it's not too you bad. You guys judge. No, did you brush his hair? Well, he just messed it up. To be no. fair, we should look at the other side. Go ahead. All right, this side's pretty clean too. To be fair though, this guy doesn't roll in mud, ever. He doesn't like being dirty. He doesn't like to be dirty. Because he knows I'm not that good at cleaning Look at that though, like he got. Horse number three, did you even actually brush him yet? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well she. Okay, I don't know if he's just grouchy in the stall or something, because watch his ears, watch. I haven't even touched you yet. He throws a temper tantrum. Yeah, Same so. Same when I go underneath his neck, I don't even oh. touch him. Yeah. Somebody's got attitude now. He's learned He's things. fine in the arena though. I can do this in the arena. I can jump Yeah. Can so we noticed this yesterday, which is why Actually, I called the... It's, it's only in the stall. Yeah, which is why I I'm called the... It's only in the stall though. Yeah, this is why I called the massage therapist because he He's was grouchy. We yeah, we tested him so many ways and he wasn't sore and he just had chiropractor not long ago. 
He's getting attitude. All Things right. teaching him well. You know why it is? Gabby, yeah, you gotta do his feet. Why? It's because he's top man now. And when they're top man, they get attitude. All right, well, to be fair. He's a dark. All right, do his feet, because she didn't do it. To be fair, he doesn't have as much mud on him. Yeah, to be fair, my horse was way muddier. All right, so vote below the in the comments, vote who wins. Who has the cleanest horse after grooming? Gabby, do his feet. Chino has attitude now. I'm like, what the heck? When did that even start? He's something about him. I don't know. I know. He's pretty chill, dude. Well, he does get like he. I've never seen his winter coat because I've only seen him showing, right? So I've never. This is the most he's winter coat yeah. ever grown in his yeah, entire he's, life. Yeah, he's 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 always this dark, except for in the summer. Mm -hmm. And even in summer, he's dark, just not this dark. So, all right, so we're on Finny now, and he's enjoying himself. But we were talking to the massage girl. She's been in some of our videos before, and she was saying like. Her horse, he's, you do this when what I the heck you is do. he doing? Yeah, like people don't know. He that's, puts his head down to get my reins out of my hands and yeah. he walks away. <laughs> that's what he's trying to do. He's, tr <laughs> he's trying to get free. Okay, you're on, he's trying to get, okay, back it up. Anyway, our massage girl, she has a horse just like Finn and she was telling us like, she loves it because she just sits there, the horse does everything. Wins everything. I just have to sit there and my pony will take the tight turn because he does not like using corners. Also, she said that Finn has a really flexible spine. That's what you said? Yeah, which is really weird because I keep saying everybody who rides him says like he's really bendy, like he's like riding a worm. And I was thinking there's something wrong with that, but he just has a really flexible spine, right? So that's good. Isn't, would that be good? Supple. 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 He's a supple horse. Probably ponies are more like that. Like Chino is not like that because he's got such a long, yeah, short backed horses. He tried to buy me like three times. He's like, oh, thank you for the wonderful Christmas present. So he might not swallow and let him play with it. Yeah, he likes to hold ropes. She says he might, it might, it might, uh, it might mis relax him. He likes to play with stuff. Brothers, you remember him? I think it was just in the Yeah, school. you remember your boy. Oh, um, what's your name? You saw Hilda? Yeah. Aw, Storm's trying to lick him. <laughs> Aw. I think it was just in the stall with all the men's issues thing. Yeah, just in the stall. Yeah, no, I know. I don't know why. Like, in the stall. he He's been... Yeah, that's your boy. The cat just came and gave me a treat, dropped it right in front of me because I fed him french fries. And he's like, here, I will share too. I'm in love with this cat now. Maybe they waste it though. Oh no, he doesn't waste it, he'll save it for later. Make him eat it, Brandon. Don't touch it. it. He gave it to me. Yes, Put it in his dish. Put it in his dish. It will decompose in there. He doesn't eat it. Oh, that's sad. He won't talk about it. Yeah, he, he saves know. it for like, look, he's looking for it. He wants it. You want to bring a light? The crew is all here. They're taking our horses back. Taking them back. Can't ride today. Doctor's orders. Saddle stamp. And dropping it and banging it. Yeah, they're bored. They've been in here for so long. They're all feeling good now. That was Finn's very first massage. Really? Yeah, he only gets chiropractor usually every month, but this and time he, he got a massage he got for Christmas. But he loved it. This is insane! What? <laughs> what is happening in here? All right, next time we call this room, I'll bring some stuff and clean this we window. Should, I was gonna say, get some windows. <laughs> I'll get some windows. We'll clean this window. Don't get any ideas, he says. So they had the heat on in this room since 2.30 in the afternoon. And now it's warm. Like they don't Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. We this literally froze our butts off. Yeah. Like we're like the heat's not even on and it's so warm in here. They, come out and they complain about the <laughs> They're like it's my hat and my car. <laughs> I was sweating. <laughs> 
Tim's helping Elizabeth. Is like, he? Well, we survived. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, oh, so this is what happens. Like, literally, this is what happens. We suffer the whole time doing all the work, freezing our butts off. They sit in here and have the best time ever. And at the very end of the lesson, they run out there and pick up the poop. That's it. They just run out there and pick up the They're like, oh, I'm so hot. I better just like go out there and cool down. This face is all red too. <laughs> This is what it looks like at the end of the night. This is what the what how Sam does work. He's the he's the supervisor. Got always got to have a supervisor. He's management. Don't you know that you're beautiful?